seen the other day right it's just a bit unfair how you know we're here like two hours before she has to be and then she walks about 10 minutes before we're about to go late I did not hurt you okay it guys me. positions please wide in five four three good morning i am melanie bolden and this is keys news coming up over 100,000 drivers have been fined in six months after controversial improvements to oxford road Manchester City Council are facing pressures after over after over a hundred thousand drivers were fined in six months since so-called improvements were made to the layout of Oxford Road. No idea what's going on. And that's all for me for today. And now over to the weather with Greg. Quick, Mark. Go to weather. I just don't understand. I had my eyes tested only a year ago and I had perfect vision. Ms. Bobman, I wouldn't worry about this too much. This looks to be more of a temporary thing. Maybe a lack of sleep or stress is causing this. The closest cause other than that is a transient ischemic attack. What's that? It's similar to an ischemic stroke. Wait, what? No, so no. I've had a stroke? Uh, no, no. They have similar symptoms. These are a brand new pair of glasses we've just had to come in from Sankin Industries. They have some special smart features. We were given a few pairs to prescribe for a trial period. And as your problem seems to be temporary... So I'd have to pay for these? Nope. You just need to sign your name here. Great, thanks. Take care.
And there are still no leads on the whereabouts of Ashley Miller. The 12-year-old girl was last seen playing outside her home in Ashford, where... In Ashford, where she disappeared without a trace. Authorities are urging people to be on the lookout for her and report anything suspicious in the area. And that concludes the news this morning. Now for the news in your local area. I am Melly Bolden and thanks for watching. <laughs> nice glasses. Oh, piss off you fat slob. Seriously? Fucking hell, you broke it! Do you have any change? No, sorry. God bless. That was our final funk mix for this Wednesday evening. Now listeners, for a more serious topic of the day, Liam wants to know, what if you had the knowledge of how many days you had left to live? What would you do with your time? And with a final two days remaining, hours left to days are numbered. Hi, I'm Melanie Bolden. I was here two days ago. I had an appointment with Dr. O'Gara and he gave me Do these glasses. Dr. O'Gara? Yeah, Dr. O'Gara. And he gave me these glasses and. There is no it... Dr. O'Gara at the Supticians. What? <laughs> I think you're getting me confused. My name's Melanie Bolden. I was here two days ago. I can check your appointment time two days ago. Yeah, Dr. O'Gara. There was no appointment two days ago. Are you sure you're in the right opticians, miss? So yeah, I was playing Fortnite last night, and then my mum called me, and I was like, Mum, you're not allowed to call me while I'm playing Fortnite. Hey guys, you how you mean? doing? Yeah, C good, thanks. Morning! I'm morning, Melanie. How are you? I'm alright, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Oh, God. Good morning, you're with Melanie Bolden and this is Keys News. had come in from Sankin Industries. They have some special smart features. We were given a few pairs of grass for a trial period. And